Good morning, hello. You join me on Saturday morning and this is day six of my six week, I'm calling it a transformation. It is essentially me just focusing on everything I can do to try and be as fit and as healthy and as happy as I can be. My name is Daniel, this is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. And thank you very much for clicking on this video because I know that there's so much great content on YouTube, people in fabulous places, pro athletes looking amazing. So thank you for clicking on this video to watch me study my local leisure center car park. I really appreciate it. Right, so day six it's going all right not amazing not terrible i'm okay with all right all right it's fine so th let's have a look at some numbers from overnight so sleep my garmin watch is telling me that i haven't have a, had a very restorative sleep i feel okay i feel like i've had a good sleep to be honest so i'm gonna see today whether the garmin is right or whether i'm right we will see not much deep sleep apparently Weigh in, I was slightly lighter than yesterday, which is surprising given that I didn't do any exercise yesterday and that's motivational to me for today. I need to process in my mind how I'm gonna deal with the fact that if I've had a good day, but then I weigh in heavier the next day. And I know some people have said, don't weigh every day. The reason I'm weighing every day is because then I take a seven day average as to what my, you know, tracking my improvements and weighing every day makes me focus less on it. But at the minute, I'm looking for any motivation that I can, right? Anything that's positive that makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing. Cool, good job, Dan. Pat, pat yourself on the back. That's the idea. So this morning, I currently have a hip niggle which is stopping me running, and in the last couple of days, I picked up a knee niggle which is stopping me cycling for the time being. I'm hoping I'll be okay in a couple of days. So I've been for a swim. The swim session, session is a session that was planned by my coach, Chris. It was broken 100s. So if you don't know what those are, I did a warm up, and then it was 15 times 100, but as blocks of five. It's really hard to explain swim sessions, isn't it? The first interval, 100 meters four lengths three lengths easy one length hard the second one's too easy too hard third one three easy sorry th one hot do you see what i mean look on my strava all the things are on there i think i've explained it on there but it was good swim decent warm down as well two and a half k takes me up to just over 5k for the week and that's a good week of swimming for me i'm going to try and come swimming tomorrow if i can't ride a bike i'm going to do the swimming because doing some exercise makes me feel a lot happier i'm ha ready for the day now and I, it's not even early it's about 11 o'clock but um you know i feel like i've done something and it's working towards my goals isn't it so that's what it is now I'm going to go what we're doing tonight. I'm going out for a meal tonight with Liz, so I need to prepare myself for weighing in heavier tomorrow, but I think I'm okay with that. And this all sounds great, doesn't it? Like it's all going really well, and it is for the most part, but you know, I'm opening up to you guys and girls as to what other things I struggle with. And today, for example, I haven't brought my wallet with me to the pool. It's not just because I'm tight. It is to stop me making bad decisions on the way home. And that's one measure I could do today, but I can't do that forever because I need to put, like, today I could have done and put some fuel in my car, to be honest, because Liz had driven my car all week and I put the fuel in. But I can't because I've not got my wallet. But not having my wallet means I'm not going to make any bad decisions with like buying sweets or chocolate and stuff on the way home. So, Liz, I guess you'll have to put some fuel in for me. But, um, you know, I can't do that forever. But for today, that's served its purpose. I've got a lot of fob in my keys and a pound in my bag for the locker. So that's where we are, day six. I'll be so happy when I get over a week and I feel like I'm in like a solid routine now. There's some variables in the next few weeks which is gonna throw some spanners in the works, but we're gonna take it day by day and I'm so grateful for your support. So let's get home, see what Liz has been doing and <laughs> see what's going off in the madhouse. Breakfast this morning, run out of bananas, so I just had a bit more porridge than normal and that was okay, a bit boring to be honest, I like it with banana, but there you go. Anyway, home time. All right, so Liz and I are out for a day trip out, walking to the local shops, aren't we Liz, for yeah. <laughs> bananas and somebody's ate all the eggs this week, I don't know where they've gone. I don't know where they've gone. Oh, no. Liz hasn't walked down the street for a few weeks and she just loudly exclaimed a couple of things. Oh, they've had gates put on. Oh, they're building something in the back garden. And then there was a ginger cat sat on somebody's front doorstep and it looked a lot like our cat. We were like, because he was out as well, isn't he? Yeah. So I've been up to some nurse's front door to check that that cat wasn't our cat. It wasn't our cat. So that's fine. Anyway, um, Elizabeth, what have we got to catch up on? I've got some jobs to do today, haven't I? Yeah, lots what, of jobs. What jobs have I got? Car battery. Yeah. Clear Rupert's path on the back. Yeah. Um, got some painting to do. Oh, yeah, I? you've got some painting to do where you've tipped tea down the wall. Right, let me explain. So, I walked in the bedroom last night, it was dark, and I had a cup of tea in my hand. So, I went to turn the light on with my hand that I had a cup of tea in, pressed a switch, and of course, it jolted and I just tipped tea all down the wall. Yep, so oh. I've got the paint out this morning ready for you. I wiped it with a tissue straight away, but it has stained quite bad, hasn't it? Yes. Maybe we'll just paint the wall tea colour. <laughs> 
Anyway, gonna get back home then, have some lunch, and then crack on with those jobs. So. What are you having for lunch, eggs? Well, probably, yeah. I might have to have four though on two slices. No, I want to try. What? I've seen this thing where you do a bagel in the air fryer, yeah. you crack an egg in it, and then you cook it. So it's like got the egg inside the bagel in the air fryer. So mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna try that today. But with my chicken's eggs, not your shop bought eggs. Okay, I look forward to washing all that up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to talk about what I was doing and why, but no sooner had I come out to the car and the alarm started going off, so the battery's dead, so the keyless isn't working, etc. I only pressed the button on the key and it went off and I couldn't turn the car alarm off and there's nothing more awkward than being the person on the street whose car alarm keeps going off, so I had to quickly just get in and disconnect the battery because I couldn't stop it any other way. I had to pull keys to bits to get the actual physical key out because nothing's physical anymore is it <sighs> that was a bit stressful anyway i need to get this airbox properly off so i can pull the battery out because they're quite big and it's quite recessed but that's not been as hard as i thought it'd be to be honest so i'm just going to get this airbox out and um then i've got more space to pull the battery out i think so i haven't actually kept many of my tools from my fiddling with car days i've got a few but nothing major one of the things i did keep is a 10 mil spanner because you never know when you're going to need a 10 mil spanner i could actually do with a 10 mil socket in honesty but i haven't got a 10 mil socket so spanner will have to do i can't quite get that in there my history with cars isn't really well it's not professional at all it was back when and you live with parents and you don't have a mortgage to pay and so on i had a bit of a boy racer phase and it progressed to me having a track car and yeah basically like you know, stripped it was only a fiesta but stripped it down and put loads of stuff in it and stripped it down again and had a couple of cars that i went through you know stripping down and building those sorts of things and when you take things to bits you you figure out how they work and i never did anything like welding or engine building but everything other than that i got my hands stuck in with so um yeah, it was a good learning experience. It just makes me more confident to, if something happens with anything, just work it out, try and take it to bits and see, <laughs> see how it goes together. Okay, so that's everything out of the way. The old battery out. It is the original Ford battery as well, and this car is 10 years old, so it was probably about due. And then new battery in. A couple of things you can do before you put these in. So I have to take the plastic cover off. And then a little bit of petroleum jelly is supposed to prevent corrosion. Now I doubt that we're going to have this car for long enough for it to corrode. It's 10 years old already and it seems to have lasted 10 years, but just in case we will, I'll put some of that on there as well. Okay, new battery is in, but I am half expecting that when I connect the positive terminal back up, that it is going to set the alarm off because that seems to be what happens whenever you connect, disconnect car batteries. But we will see, got both the keys here. I'll press them. I'm assuming that it keeps a sort of memory and I don't need to recode the keys or anything, but we will see. Okay, so it's all on, all back together, other than I just need to connect the positive terminal on the battery and then put the other half of the battery cover on. But I've just put it all back together because I'm assuming that the alarm's going to go off when I put this battery back on. And I don't really know what to do to resync keys because there's not actually a barrel in this car, there's, it's just keyless, so one way to find out. Sorry, neighbours. Okay, so I'm going to attach the positive terminal, there we go. That's on. So I try and press a button on a key and see what happens. Okay. Okay. All right, it could be in action. Let's set this on here. I'm even putting it back together properly. All the clips are in and everything. Unlike me, there we go. Check that out. Factory job, basically. Okay, so this is the bigger test then. Will it start? I'm assuming it will because the it's, if it's registering a key and not setting the alarm off, it'll be fine. Perfect. I'm just gonna perhaps nip it around the block for 15, 20 minutes because you don't know how charged the battery is that's come, so it needs to run for a while so the alternator can charge it. Brake lamp bulb fault, that is my other job, which is here. I don't know which, which one it is though. Just trying to see the reflection of the brake light in the bins. No. Left one. Left brake lamp, okay. I'm hoping I can do this with a 10 mil spanner and a flat screwdriver. Okay, good evening. Car battery done, car brake light done as well, Liz. Oh, brilliant. Not broke anything, not lost anything, it's all gone to plan. I'm not allowed to show you the sofa behind me, but I want to show you the cat. So just don't look at the sofa, look at the cat. Apparently cushions <laughs> strewn on the back isn't okay. You had a good day? Yes, thank you. Nice you to get dressed up for this clip. 
Hello. <laughs> what are we doing? We're going out for an Indian and we're really? both hungry, so we're ready to go. Right, you know, gentlemen, if you have another half, or maybe even women, you know, if you've got another half, you'll know this pain. The pre going out photo shoot. We must have been doing it 10, 15 minutes, haven't we? And it's, no, we haven't. It's About two minutes. No way. Ages. Different phones. Oh, you hold it, I hold it. I'm taking it too high. Because then our, Liz's eyes have to look up. Sorry for being six foot two. <laughs> Are you happy with the finished results now? Not really, no. <laughs> Liz's exact words to me were, I like the ones of me, but I don't like the ones of us. <laughs> Head over to Liz's Instagram to see 83 selfies and not a single photo of me. Yeah. You had a good day? Yeah, I've been busy doing lots of jobs. You both have, haven't we? Mm. Yes, good day. No nap though today, I'm a bit no, disappointed. I know, I'm going to come back to what my Garmin told me this morning. It said that I might feel stressed later in the day. I feel fine. I felt like I could have nodded off this afternoon. I sat on the sofa with the cat, but I, I didn't. I forced myself through it and just cracked on with some video editing. Cool. So there you go. Diet wise, today has been fine. I had my signature dish for lunch, and then I had half a tub of cottage cheese mid morning, and then half a tub of cottage cheese at about half past three, four o'clock. And it's actually quite a good snack, like Is nutritionally. It? Yeah, you absolutely hate the look of it, don't you? Yeah. Just goes means Liz isn't going to eat it out of the fridge. But I think that's okay. And I've got something like 11 or 1200 calories left in my allowance for tonight, which basically just means that I can go out and have a good meal. I've not got to worry about the fact that, oh, you've ate poorly today and you're going out tonight. It's a case of I've ate okay today and I can go out tonight. And it's just a curry, isn't it? You've got mm -hmm. to live a little bit, haven't you? So, so yeah, that's the day today. I'm really happy that's gone. Good to get a good swim in. I'm pretty sure now I am going to go for a swim again tomorrow just so I can do some exercise and that will stop me getting on the bike just to give my knee another day to get over the issues. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully Wahoo well, are going to swap those bikes for us in the next mm. couple of weeks. So they've gone quiet on me last week. Mm -hmm. So we will see if they come back. But anyway, Liz, thanks for a good Saturday. Yep. Thank you to you guys and girls for watching along. Day six, done and dusted. On to day seven, it's a week tomorrow. Brilliant. Flown by, mm. isn't it? Yep. Right, let's feed Ronnie and let's go. I can tell you when I go. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Well, if you go over there. And do the whole of me, and I'll do that thing where I just to get the whole of me in, yeah. And I'll do that thing where I just turn around, yeah. Okay, oh, still, no, put that down, put that <laughs> God, down. So that thing where you just turn around, no, that ain't going on video. I mean it, stop it. <laughs>